Well, hello guys, we're here at the Dutch Starcraft League. <laughs> Woo! Hi, <Hype>, bye. <laughs> um, we we've, we've just watched a watched a Starcraft match, but um, now we've we've got two of the best players uh, playing Hearthstone. Hearthstone is a different game, and um, there are not only just two random players playing Hearthstone. No, they're the two best Dutch players um, of the ranking. Uh, Living, could you could you tell me something about this, uh, those players? Yeah, um, Tyson L is of course the, the fan favorite of the Dutch people, mm -hmm. uh, especially because of the NL in his name. And, and the NL, actually of course. Actually, his, his name Tyson, and, and there's no more Dutch name than that. <laughs> <laughs> and than having Thijs, right. <laughs> and, uh, well, he's very uh, well known uh, abroad. Like, he's mm -hmm. played in many large tournaments. He's done, done very well in them. Actually won a DreamHack, I believe. Oh, he won a dream Yeah, so wow. he's, he's really a force to be reckoned with, as okay. we like <laughs> to say in eSports. <laughs> Vortex is, is uh, a little less known, not any less good, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, he's won Assembly in Finland uh, with okay. the 2K uh, prize pool. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, and he's uh, finished top eight in DreamHack Bucharest this year, so he's really good as well. And okay. uh, I think these are the two best Dutch Hearthstone players we have, and we've got them here. We've got them here. Um, and not only they are they just going to play, they're going to do a show match. That means that they are going to play uh, best of five, and the format is going to be Conquest. Um, Conquest is a special format in Hearthstone. It's uh, way different than uh, um, in StarCraft you only play one race, but um, in Hearthstone you have multiple uh, races, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of, uh, or heroes. Um, could you tell me something about the conquest format? Of course. Uh, we've got in, Sar uh, in Hearthstone, we've got nine classes, mm -hmm. and each class has its own cards, so to speak. Okay. And uh, for every class, you can make a deck, and mm -hmm. the players here have bought three decks of three different classes. And with each deck, they have to win once, so they have to win three games to mm -hmm. uh, yeah w win the match. Okay. So, so if I understand correctly, um, if they win a game with a certain hero, yeah. then that hero is done playing, yeah, actually. So, exactly. so, so they have to play with another hero. Yeah, that's okay. the plan. Okay, that's the plan. Okay, and after the show match, um, we've got those nice audience here. Um, we we've, we've got some goodies. Um, I want to just hold something above my head. Go ahead. Like winning this octave mouse and keyboard, of course. Oh, it's very nice. If uh, the camera is uh, <laughs> pointing somewhere <laughs> else, it doesn't really matter what I uh, what I have uh <laughs> in your hands. <laughs> very true. What I have in my hands, but well, anyway, we've got many goodies for the audience. Um, they can challenge some of the uh, players, so they can challenge Vortex or Tyson L uh, to play. Uh, you can just log in your own uh, Hearthstone account and build your own deck. Um, and if you win against them, uh, you get a nice prize. Um, well. That's basically it. Oh um, well anyways, well. I think we're, uh, we're, we're ready, ready for, the for the game. Yeah. For, the, for, the, for the show match. I think so. So let's well. hop, uh, hop into it. And I'm very curious to what decks they've brought. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we can uh, if we recognize can. them or <laughs> just be amazed by the s how smart they are. Okay, so. Uh, let's see. What let's see. You can start. I think we are waiting for one of the players to click OK. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, there they are. We can start spectating now. Okay. And here we go. The first it's match. Ah, we have a uh, rogue brought by Thais and a warlock brought by uh, Vortex. Yeah. And if you uh, open your opening uh, hand of three cards, you can actually click on the cards you don't want to have in your hand. Um, and as you can see on the top, you need to have a 180 next skill, I guess, <laughs> to see the hand of Thijs. Uh, in this game, we are uh, following Vortex. He's playing some kind of a Warlock deck. Yeah, it uh, looks a lot like a Handlock so far, but mm -hmm. it might be Maligos Lock. Those are twi two archetypes. Uh, one is characterized by going very low in HP mm -hmm. and then bring all your big uh, uh, forces out. Yeah. And the other, Maligos Lock, is uh, characterized by having a Maligos, which is a nine mana creature, so it's very large, and he gives you a lot of spell power, and then you just burst your opponent. Okay, so it's a burst deck, either or a control deck. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, meanwhile, at the side of Thais, we see uh, Blood Mage Talnos, the skeleton in a dress, uh, as they call it. Um, and it looks to like be just a normal rogue deck. Uh, well, normal, of course. There's uh, the Oil Rogue, which is also a burst oh, deck, yeah. I think. Oh, there it is. And um, 
we'll see how it does. If it's a uh, handlock, but I don't think so, mm -hmm. then the rogue will be at a disadvantage. But since it's Maligos lock, uh, the warlock has needs more time to build up. So okay. the rogue might actually uh, have a good chance there. Okay. And we'll see how this uh, develops. The hand of the warlock is pretty good. Like it has a lot of removal, uh, no healing, which might be important. Uh -huh. So yeah, that could be better uh, for well the rogue. On the other side of the rogue, um, we see a lot of spells like Sap and Blade Flurry that can easily uh, uh, remove something from the board. But we don't see any any cards that actually uh, um, are capable of killing killing him in the first first few turns. But we also see a big game hunter, which is really good against the Molten Giants if uh, uh, the Warlock player plays that. Yeah. So what we see is here is the rogue having two minions on board, and one of those spawns another minion when it dies. And what you actually want as a Warlock player mm -hmm. is that the Rogue has no minions, because hi the combo he has with the uh, oil is that's in his hand um, is that uh, you uh, give a minion plus three attack, and you and want that minion to be able to attack already, oh so it has to be in the on the board for a turn. So Vortex is, is now considering playing Hellfire, and yeah. especially uh, what you said, just uh, clear all creatures uh, on board. Ah, this is a very good draw for uh, Thais, I think. Because he can just play it. It will get destroyed by the uh, Twilight Drake. But you get the value from getting the card. And not take a Master Oil. And yeah. well, you clear the Drake as well. But it was a very good Drake. I guess so. Life totals in this matchup is not, not really that relevant, right? Uh, they are like on 20 or 27. No, that's uh, not very relevant yet. Okay. As you can see here, uh, uh, Vortex makes sure that his creature survives. And now it's pretty hard for the rogue to do something about that. But the fan of nice will kill the 5-1. Yeah, will kill the dragon. Let's see what he draws from that. Uh, it's another Twilight Drake, so he does have an off-card draw. Uh, yeah. The 5-5 five five minion with taunt we see here can't attack, which is uh, very important. Oh, it can't attack. No. So that's uh, basically the best ability ever, just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can't attack. <laughs> yeah, but stats are insane for a two-mana creature. Yeah, but it can attack. Yeah. Yeah, but it takes the hit. Okay, okay. So because so it's taunt. So cards that can attack are also pretty good sometimes. Sometimes, uh, okay, yeah. Okay. As, as actually, only in this deck, I think. <laughs> <laughs> is it the the only creature in Hearthstone that that can attack? Yeah, it or is. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is the only uh, minion with the card text can't attack. Can't attack. But it has but to be clear that also. Yeah, you can yeah, silence okay. it. Uh, here, there's another taunt, and for the rogue, it will be pretty hard to get through here. But uh, nothing's impossible for a rogue. No, it's no. Uh, it's, it's not if exactly Miracle Rogue, uh, no. but it's close. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a deck that can get you out of any situation possible, it's a Rogue deck. And, um, well, basically, the, the, the loser of this match has to play again with this deck, so... That's fair. O or with another deck. It's or with another deck, yeah. yeah okay. uh, just that he still has to win with this deck. Okay. So what we see in Tai's hand is uh, Sap, which removes a creature from the board and places it back into uh, the hand of uh, Vortex in this case. Mm -hmm. And since Vortex is on 2, 4, 6, 8 cards, well, not really important, but when you get more than 10 cards in your hand, you burn a card. More than 10 cards in hand? Yeah. So if you d then get another card, then yeah. well, you burn it, which is a shame, of course. Of course. Okay, he plays Eviscerate, and yeah. he, he got the combo because he played uh, something before it. And with the uh, Azure Drake, it gets plus one uh, uh, damage, so it clears uh, the card that can attack. Yeah, ex exactly. Uh, Vortex has a lot of options in his hand, which is characteristic for this deck. Like, you just tap for another card in your hand, you take some damage, but it's worth it. Yeah. Uh, he might Shadow Flame this turn. Just well, I Sylvana Shadow Flame is like the best combo, right? Yeah, because but you it's 10 mana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's it's still, still not on 10 mana. You can also just tap and play Molten Giant here. Because tapping uh, will will remove the yeah the mana the giant gets cheaper uh, when you take damage, but I think you don't want to play it for like six mana or eight mana. You just want to wait uh, when it's two or one or zero. Yeah, and but now is uh, now now Tyson Sep can actually do do something here. Yeah. If he Sep's a big guy, um, he can start uh, putting some some pressure with the with the oil. It might even be better to Sep the Watcher and clear the yeah. on us. How to play the Sylvanas? Uh, just hero power and uh, Drake. Oh, and then the Drake hero power. Yeah, yeah. but then he loses the, 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 the Drake, right? Yeah, that's very true, but else it gets stolen anyway. And you have to yeah. deal with it somehow. Okay, he's, he's going for a different line. Oh. oh, he's going for the flurry play, I think. But then the Drake will get stolen. So the oh, he might sap. He might sap the Sylvanas. 
and then just oh, attack okay. with his weapon and uh, keep it a 6-1 six six, uh, weapon. He can also s just set the Ancient Watcher and deal 13 damage and just say go and hope for the best for the next turn. <laughs> I don't think that's a very smart idea, but <laughs> we'll see. Okay, he's thinking really wrong. Still has the coin, right? Yeah. <laughs> He, he really, yeah, he's thinking of just going for the damage indeed, but I think sapping is better. I like the rope oh, in Hearthstone, by the way. Here, he's sapping uh, the five, five, the Watcher and just going oh. face. Uh, he's going ham, just like you predicted. Ja, ja, Very yeah. well done. Uh, yeah, as a rental player myself. Uh, <laughs> you like going ham? Yeah, fa ham, ham and face is just, 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 the, just the way to go. So Thais has a card in his hand called Blade Flurry, and it destroys your weapon and deals the damage of your weapon to all enemies. So that would be lethal right now, and no taunt can help him. And here's where I uh, pointed out earlier in the game that mm -hmm. Vortex had no healing in hand. No. This is where it counts. And now is yeah, the only moment that he really needs it. Yeah, so I think uh, Thais just, uh, uh, just played like to win with this play. But um, here we got. Jaraxxus? Jaraxxus. Jaraxxus, yeah. And, uh, here, Vortex goes back to 15 HP, which it might just be enough. Jaraxxus is one of the best cards in, uh, in Hearthstone, right? Because you, you can kill your own hero. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the only card that kills your own hero and, sti and still can play on. Uh, the big game hunter in the hand of Thais uh, will kill the 8-8 uh, here. Yeah. Big game hunter, of course, a very strong card for very few mana. Yeah. Removing a threat from the board, even and uh, still having 4 2 stats, which is not too bad. It seems like a spell actually, it just yeah. kills a big creature um, and spawn it's a 4 2 guy. It's I like guess. Sh Shadow or Death with a body. Yeah, yeah, Shadow yeah. Death with a body <laughs> for each race. I do think that, yeah, maybe the card should be uh, a bit different, but yeah. It's a uh, really it's good a It's card. a very strong card indeed, especially in this meta where Dr. Balance is. Uh, oh ah, Dr. Balance. Dr. Balance! Dr. Balance! This is Dr. Balance. We'll give him a warm welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's, it's actually Dr. Boom, but I think everybody who plays Hearthstone um, and sees the card, well... Knows its name. Know, knows its name and actually knows that it is just a bit too good to... Uh, for a 7 mana. So you could set up uh, some taunts here, but Blade Flurry will ruin your board. Mm. Uh, actually, Blade Flurry will ruin any board you have. So he's, I think he's going for the taunt play. I think his only, uh, only play is he's going for the taunt yeah. play. Through that, and then I think he will attack face. Oh, he's going to dark bomb the four two. That's a very good play because it's another threat. It's four damage to yeah. face, and you don't can't uh, use that, and you can't take it out with your weapon either because you get the four damage anyway. Then yeah. Ah, here comes the blade flurry as expected, and I'm sure Vortex saw that coming. Yeah. But still on nine, um, or is he a six dead? or five? Or, oh, it's a one a thro a third chance. If, if it, it hits the... Oh, <laughs> that's a shame. If it hits the 3-5 guy, it's... it's it exactly would have been over, yeah. Oh, maybe Flurry. Oh, no, oh, no so Flurry. Oh, we're stupid. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, good game. The first game is going to... <laughs> to Thais. Going to go to Thais and L. Yeah, and he's up 1-0. He's 1-0. Okay, we uh, actually don't know which heroes they picked. No, but I've got no clue. Uh, Got no clue, but uh, Thijs now knows that his opponent is playing a uh, uh, handlock card deck lock. of a Maligos deck or yeah. definitely a control warlock deck. Um, now he has to really, uh, well, decide which way to go uh, with his next two decks. And I think we're going into the next game. Yeah, we see Warrior versus Warlock. Thijs has a uh, Warrior and Vortex is just going to try again with the Warrior. Ah, try again. And we see if everything that, uh, fails, just try again. Exactly. Exactly. And okay. Thais has brought uh, Patron Warrior here, which we can see by the correct uh, characteristic card of Warsong Commander. Warsong Commander. And, and it's golden. And that's it's golden. That's, that's like the best way ever, right? Golden, yeah. Golden cards. The only real way to smack your opponent in the face <laughs> <laughs> yeah. with uh, five three threes in one turn. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Because yes. that's the plan for this deck. It's also a combo deck, just like Rogue was. Uh, you get the Warsong Commander. Uh -huh. And you get the other important key piece, which is the patron warrior of the Grim Patron, and then you can just flood the board and kill your opponent in one fell swoop. Yeah, the 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 charge mechanic is really really important in Hearthstone. If you have many many cards with charge, you can actually burst down your opponent. Um, maybe the Malikos deck doesn't have any charge minions, but it does have any burn. So it has a lot of burst. Yeah, and it's just it's based on survival. Uh, it's oh, it's uh, not Malikos. No, like it's not Malikos. Oh, you were right again. Ah, it's a. It's a Mountain Giant. It's the Mountain Giant is, 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 is definitely a handlock. Mountain Giant is a 12 mana 8 8. 
but if you play Warlock, you can actually play it on turn 4 uh, due to the uh, Warlock uh, uh, hero power. And here we see Vortex very uh, smartly clearing the Acolyte before it draws more than one card. Yeah. And as we can see in Thais's hand, he would have drawn more than one card with exactly. the Taskmaster. Uh, here we have a weapon not very useful in this matchup because there will be very large creatures. And uh, Handlock is seen as a counter to the deck that Thais brought. Okay, so, so Handlock ha has a better matchup against uh, uh, than, the war, yeah. Yeah, than the than the than the, than the, than the previous uh, deck. Yeah, exactly. I do have to uh, get the 180 next swing to see the other cards, but still. <laughs> So we see here Thais just wanting to draw more cards and uh, going to execute the Giant, which is a very good play because it's yeah. a large threat and you want to clear it as soon as possible. And if you can clear it as efficiently as this, then you're very happy as a warrior player. Yeah, most of the times uh, you want to target your own minions, but now in this case you actually wanted to target... Uh yeah. Oh, he, he can go coin Emperor here, he can right? Coin, uh, he can coin the Emperor, but it will die immediately, and I'm not sure if it's worth it. I think I would, but of course, I'm not one of the, <laughs> <laughs> not the best player in the Netherlands, so maybe it's a bit greedy. Mm. Uh, and just throwing a Sludge Belcher out his way is better, and uh, Vortex it's decides it is better. It's more stable, right? Yeah. Okay, that's a, that's a Frothing with Berserker. That can combo with the Golden uh, Warstone Commander. If he has, uh, well, Death Bites, for in case. You can actually deal a lot of damage. Some uh, some players actually call this uh, uh, um, counting warrior or uh, math warrior because of the counting you have to yeah. do all the time. Yeah, here Thais draws three cards for hey, two mana, a which is an insane draw, of course. Like normally you pay like three mana for two cards, mm -hmm. and here it's the other way around. So it's so much value for Thais. Yeah, and Vortex really needs to draw his uh, uh, removal. It's it's yeah, AOE. Shadow Flame or Hellfire, exactly. that, that kind of card. It is the counter, but at this point, I like the chances of dice here. Yeah, I like him very much. But of course, we have healing for Vortex, and yeah. it's not weird for his deck to go down to like 12 HP before it starts uh, getting back in the game. Yeah. Let's see, he can deal 6 damage from his minions, 4 from his weapon, and then he can like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... More with, and two more is eight, so eight, six. I think Thais is doing the same as I am doing, just <laughs> yeah. randomly putting numbers in my head and he wants hoping it's 24, right? He wants <laughs> to keep the weapon charge for next turn because then you've got the combo turn with the uh, Warship oh, Commander oh, okay, and the yeah. Grand Patron. And the, the weapon, if it dies, so in if you use it once more, mm -hmm. then it will do one damage to all the creatures on board. Yeah. And the Patron will spawn another Patron which can attack. And that's a really, really important draw for Thais. The Inner Rage uh, will allow him to get another Patron. If necessary. Even, even two, because you enrage first, then you have two patrons, oh yeah, and then course. you do the whirlwind effect. So yeah. you get four patrons, which is 12 damage in one turn. Yeah, That's really for a zero mana card. <laughs> okay, he's going for the armor smith. Yeah, he's just going to get some armor and suicide the other minions. And if um, Vortex has no answer to this, this will be really hard for him. Okay, but he has to attack with a 2-1, right? Okay. Yeah, he has. He was roping, so I was, so <laughs> I was thinking maybe it's too late to attack. <laughs> But what can Vortex do? The combo is almost too strong and he does not have any removal. He has to taunt up, but there's nothing to taunt up. Like he, uh, he can play Dr. Boom and Sun Fury, and I think that's his best move, but yeah. it's all bad. Like you might even Also, the Boom boss can, can hit another um, a Grim Patron and actually deal more damage to you than, than you want. Maybe you shoot even Mortal Coil, the frothing, so that it gets one damage and you can BGH it. Oh, that's a nice play. But is it good? That's the question. And that's the question. <laughs> But he can also taunt the BGH up, but I don't think that's the best. Yeah, that, I don't <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe and he wants to tap and just hit a... Well, he, he goes for a tap and hits Sylvanas. Is that what he was looking for? I think it might be. If he goes coin Sylvanas, I think he's dead. I, I think so as well. I, I'm pretty sure he's dead, and I think he knows as well. But that's, that's the only play, right? Oh, you, oh, you can heal. And maybe taunt it up even. No, he's not going for the taunt. Okay, 30 damage. I'm not damage. sure if this, this is lethal, but I'm pretty sure that Thais will go for it. Is it lethal? Uh, it's 10, 7, 11, Should we just 12, randomly no. say it's lethal? or? or no, it's like he's on 30 HP. He's not dead yet. Not not dead yet. Oh, Gromash can, can, can grow to a 10 uh, power guy. And our observer is having fun with the, <laughs> with the bottles I see. 
Come on, another one. You can do it. Hit, hit the, the air balloon. Come on. Ah. Oh. Uh. Hit, yeah. <laughs> hit the air balloon. <laughs> uh, here we go. There's a large threat coming out in the uh, Gromash. Okay, he's, he's activated. He's, nah, he's just going for it. Is it lethal, actually? He's going did to I attack. Did I probably did. 26, 10. Yeah, looks like lethal. This looks like lethal. But it also looks not like safe. it will take a lot of time <laughs> before the armor <laughs> stacks up. And that's the... Yes, you attack. <laughs> this, this deck is the bane of phone users because yeah. phone's <laughs> just a bit slower than a normal computer. Oh, and if you course. play this deck on your phone, then you're screwed. <laughs> I think he's... Uh, uh, yeah, he's, he's even lethal. trading the one damage for the two damage on the frothing. And that's... Yeah, that's a one shot kill, lethal. lethal. Wow. Uh, Nicely done, guys. <laughs> He takes a he takes an early 2-0 lead here. And Vortex still has to win. Thais is pretty good at counting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see that lethal. <laughs> he sure did. He certainly and has his ABCs and his one, two, threes <laughs> yeah. uh, in preschool, right? <laughs> that was a lot of damage in one turn, and that's the just the power of the patron warrior. Yeah, just bursting opponents out in 30 damage. Okay, Vortex is again going for a warlock deck. And Thais is uh well Thais was Unfavored two times in a row, but one. Yeah. And now he's actually favored. So maybe who knows? For maybe still he knows, has a chance. Yeah. Okay. It's a freeze mage for Thais, uh, which is just. Is it another combo deck? I, I think don't it's think a combo so. deck. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, a combo deck. Okay. It's not a. It's not an aggro deck and also not a control deck, I guess. So. Or maybe it's control combo. That's like so the plan with freeze mage is just survive until you have enough damage in your hand to kill your opponent. Yeah. And yeah, that's basically the plan. Okay, and Vortex is still going for, uh, for, for, for this deck. Um, he actually needs to win w one time with this deck, so why might as not play it uh, again? Okay, um, as you can see, the hand of, the of Thais is actually really good. He has lots of two drops, um, and the uh, Freeze Mage most of the time has, has actually trouble of, of having enough early game cards. So exactly, and since uh, Vortex will help Thais yeah. and just burning himself down by tapping, as you can see here, and I think that uh, Vortex knows what's going on with Dice Deck just by seeing the loot hoarder and the scientist. Yeah, and then he's like, I think ah, he knows what's up. Yeah, I know what's up. Because normally mage mage players actually have have like multiple ways of of uh, dealing. Um, you have a mech mage deck, and you have a deck with uh, tempo control mage. Tempo yeah, mage. Exactly. You just throw a lot of small minions on the board, yeah. and you win from there. And here, Dice is playing pretty passively actually, mm -hmm. and then you yeah, then you know. He's playing with card draw. And actually, um, that's an advantage. If you play Conquest, um, you can easily build a mage deck and the opponent doesn't really know which type of deck you are playing. For instance, if you play uh, the rogue deck, it's most of, most of the time going to be an, uh, an oil, oil rogue. rogue. Yeah. And there's no other uh, rogue deck viable in this yeah, uh, that's very in true. The game. And for mage, there's like three or four different yeah. decks that's w that are actually viable in the tournament scene. And this is just one of them. So Thais did go face face and attack and uh, ping the opponent for one. Yeah, That's we're not, going a to see, uh, not a good turn five. The, the taunt, I think, on the Ancient Watcher and the uh, Drake, so that he can't do any more damage with his minions. And 20 is just a bit too high for the mage to burst, usually. Unless, yep. of course, he gets um, Emperor Thorson. Well, we don't see that in his hand just yet. No. I'm actually rooting for Vortex here. Yeah, of course we are. Like he, he has yeah, to it's your teammate, one right? So yeah, <laughs> that, that as well. That, that as, as well. well. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so rooting for Vortex here. Come on, Vortex. You can do it, Vortex. <laughs> You've got the cards. Believe okay. in the heart of um, the cards. We don't know actually know which secret it was, so the absorber has to be... I think it's Ice Block. I can check, actually. You can check it? It's Ice Barrier. It's Ice Barrier, okay. So when he attacks, he gets an extra 8 HP. Yeah. And he's already on 19. Yeah, but 19 is not that bad. Oh, it's a secret! Oh, what a surprise. <sighs> what a surprise. Why isn't it vaporized? Uh, oh, that would be so <laughs> insane if it was a secret vaporize. Nobody <laughs> runs ever runs vaporize, so nobody expects it when you use it. Sad vaporize, right? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, okay that's, so a, that's, a, that's, that's a really good draw, right? The Acolyte of Pain. You can ping it and draw two cards out of it. Pretty much, and you're still so uh, high on HP, and the secret he got <laughs> is the second Ice Barrier. The second so Ice Barrier. practically on 40 HP. He can wow. do whatever he wants, he can just draw all the cards he wants, and he doesn't need to be afraid of dying anytime soon. And, and the there is the Thors, and uh, that's such an important card in the deck nowadays. Especially because he has the combination with Archmage Antonidas in his hand, which mm -hmm. of course spawns a fireball for every spell you cast. Yep. And when the, when the spells are cheaper and Antonidas is cheaper, then you get a lot of fireballs in your hand. <laughs> and you don't even need to worry about having enough damage. 
But he has Ragnaros. Uh, Ragnaros is still so good for his free to make. Oh, mirror image? No, no, no. It because, <laughs> because it doesn't attack, it just deals 8 damage. And even if you freeze it, it still deals its 8 damage to the face. Yeah. And 8 is pretty lot. It's uh, quite a lot. I like this play, yeah. Because now uh, Thais is on the clock. He has to win in like 2 or 3 turns, which he obviously can do with his hand. But I like the play of Vortex of just going for 8 damage here. Even if it's frozen, as you said, it still deals 8 damage. And Thais has the Cone of Cold in his hand. And... We can see that uh, oh Vortex no, didn't play around that because the three minions are <laughs> that are need to be frozen are all at the same side. But, <laughs> but if you look at the ties here, uh, he's, he's just thinking of what is the best play uh, um, to do. In StarCraft, you have to put attention on the map and click as fast as possible. But in Hearthstone, you, you, you've just got like one minute and a half for each turn, I guess? Uh, 70 seconds, actually. Oh, 70 seconds. Okay. So yeah, just above a minute. That's a for random every minute. Turn. Of the 70 seconds. That's a random number, 70 seconds. Yeah, it was 90, but it got nerfed in Alpha even, I think. And oh, it really? Yeah, it was quite a lot of... Uh, oh, what's he, what's he going to do? He's going to Shadow okay. Flame and then Dark Bomb the... <laughs> yeah, just so that his whole board doesn't die. Okay, but I don't think he's going to tap here. No, oh, not sure. No, he's not going to tap. That would probably be too greedy. And he has the heal. Ooh, Pyroblast. Uh, I think it's the most expensive spell in the game. So, Thais has in his hand six... Uh, from the fireball, three from the frostbolt, and then another four from the ice land, so that the seven to s yeah, is so the thirteen damage. So the four mana card six, then the two mana card is three, is like nine, and then your opponent is frozen with frostbolt. Then you can actually uh, deal four more. So with the ice lands, yeah. yeah. So so it's still not enough, right? Then? No, no, it's not enough. But he could uh, start his combo and finish it with pyroblast, hoping that the uh, an opponent can't heal enough. But yeah. we know that's not true. Like he has Jiraxes in his hand, so he can get back to fifteen every time. Yeah. And Vortex also uh, uh, does does know that the uh, uh, that, that the secret must be ice block. Yeah, because we've already seen two ice barriers. Yeah, uh, and I think Thais is now going for the Thorson to get the kill next turn. And just ping, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. But Maybe he's going to uh, the nine mana Alexstrasza. Maybe he's just playing it on his own life total next turn. Just so to gain back up to 15. So can uh, Vortex pop the ice block here? And that's a really important question. Yeah. Because if he can pop the ice block and Thais doesn't have an answer or not enough answer, then it's done. Oh, that's a heal block. That's a very, that's a very good, card. very important card. Yeah. Of course, we do see Alex Straza in Thais' hand. So yeah. you can always set him back to 15. Okay, but, but he has uh, he's like seven, nine, car nine damage on board. Uh, here we go. If he Hellfires here, he's on to 15, and I think he will heal, but after that, because he's pretty sure he will die otherwise. And now he can actually yeah, it pops the pop ice block. the ice block uh, too. So this is a really wow, good turn. Wow, this is a really good turn. And also, this matchup was in favor of the mage player, yeah. you said. I think so. I think it was. But maybe I'm just really bad at this <laughs> game <laughs> because I killed everyone. Well, last time you were wrong because the. the and the time before that as well. Yeah. And yeah, there's no you ice block wrong. here. No ice block, but there is uh, Alex Straza, so he could gain to 15 and then shoot some minions, but I you like Vortex chances of winning the game If here. you play Alex Strasser here on yourself, then you lose the game. Because it's just too... Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, you don't have enough pressure anymore. So he has to go Antonidas and... And just clear and board, I think. Aha, going Fireballs? I think, um, yeah, Fireball on the 4-3 or just Cone of Cold, the, the left three minions. Mm -hmm. That would oh, be that's a great also possible. play. Yeah, Cone of Cold, uh, the... Um, uh, will Freeze 3 guys and it doesn't really matter if Ragnaros is freeze or not so and then it's just the 50 50 for the Ragnaros to hit the uh, art 50 or 50 I really like 50 50 you, you do <laughs> we'll see so this is the play that Thais will go be going with yeah you and he it. even frostbolts the face just to get an, that out of an ice lands just to get those other fireballs yeah to win the game next turn if Arc there is, is a next turn Archmage is such an insane card Okay, so it's the it's the fifty fifty. Will Vortex Ragnaros hit Thais or will <laughs> Red hit or the Arm Mage? Or does he get the removal? And that's not removal. He can tap for it. He could also He can tap, but that's that's a bit Well he, he actually knows he's quite dead or not? He's not dead yet. But it but, but Vortex Vortex doesn't know that, right? No, that's true. But of course there could be another frostbolt yeah. in his hand and then he is dead. So, uh, well, tapping is very risky. And so I it's like just Dr. Boom saying go in 50-50. Okay, I like winning it. or not. Come on. Oh. Oh. That's a shame.
That's a shame. Tice but still lives. Tice does not have lethal in his hand, so it might be. Uh, it I might think he still dies. <laughs> 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 and he did not draw the ice block. Maybe if you arc an intellect here, he draws the ice block, he can fireball once, and then next turn yeah. he can fireball twice. So there still is an out for Tice. Okay, if he, if he draws the ice block. No, that's not it. And that's not it either. Oh, so close. Oh, maybe the next he one. He still <laughs> tries going for it. Ice block? Nope. No ice block for Frost Tice. And a frost ball. Okay, I don't think Tice has any outs here, but. I don't think so either. It was a close game. It was a very, a close, very close game. game. <laughs> but Vortex getting a win on the board. Winning a goal. Yeah, it's 2 1. It's 2 1. Vortex is coming back. We've got a match. We've got a match. <laughs> okay, so Vortex now knows that he has to win against the Freeze Mage with two of his other decks. Or one, of the one of the two other decks. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, he has to. Yeah, exactly. He has to win with the Freeze Mage. And Tone knows that he only has to beat uh, the Freeze Mage. Yeah. So now we see the warrior versus freeze mage. Traditionally, a good match for the warrior because yeah. you can just stack armor and not die. Uh, I don't know exactly what kind of uh, so warrior Tone is playing. I don't. Ah, here I we, think see it's we see the warzone commander. I think it's the it's same. Yeah, there. it's a and it's, it's a also patron. golden. So it's also golden. They really know the golden cards, right? So he might just win this. <laughs> because, <laughs> because it's golden. <laughs> yeah, because it's golden, <laughs> okay, of course. Yeah. But That's also a works. golden, uh, a golden flame strike. Ah, uh, so pretty. <laughs> Greetings. Okay, so Hello. I think Toon will be just dishing out, dishing out damage early in the game. Oh, no, he's not. He's, he's just not going for the control he's just match. Going for the control. Well, maybe Vortex just wants to conceal that he's playing a Patron deck. Maybe he can also play a Control Warrior deck. So just armoring up and hope that the um, Model Freeze Mage doesn't uh, kill him soon. And I like the play of Taisha, just playing a 1 1 to draw extra cards. And he has to uh, clear it, the 1 1. This is a really. Really good turn three for Vortex here. He's that's playing right, uh, a War Axe and he can also play the Pirate here. And that's a good draw for Tice. Yeah, he can just draw more cards. But Vortex saving is saying it was an error to attack. Mm, I don't think so. I think it was good to clear it. But even though the spell, the spell power does nothing this early no. in the game. Uh, yeah, go ahead. And I like that in Hearthstone you can actually just comment on your plays, just saying, ah. I think I made a mistake. Yeah, <laughs> if you if you do that in StarCraft, you just made another 50 mistakes. Yeah, yeah, of <laughs> course. Yeah, in StarCraft you have to press enter, then say, oh, oops, I made a mistake, and then you're already dead. So. <laughs> yep. Uh, the only thing, the only one here I see that doing is Space Marine, and he would just <laughs> more be like, I think you made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> classic, classic Space Marine, right? <laughs> okay, so we have a lot of cards in the hand for Tice. Uh, Two secrets, which is not something you want to see. You want oh to drop oh the scientist. The observer actually killed three onions, I guess. Oh shit! I just. I hope they grow back. Yeah, I, I really hope they grow back. Okay, sorry. What were you saying? <laughs> I was saying <laughs> that. Uh, oh, that's uh, surprising. So Tice has a lot of cards in his hand, but not the cards he wants. And he just used the frostball to kill the dread corsair. And you don't want to use the frostball no. to clear the board. You just you, you want, want to, to uh, hit use base. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's very expensive for Tice. And then uh, another card that is uh, way too much mana. He actually needs his uh, his his uh, two one guys and his two two guys. Yeah, that's as good as his uh, hand was last time. As bad as it is, n it is now. Yeah. In next turn he can acolyte and then ping it to get another card. But this is another threat. He oh wait. ah no, this is another threat. I thought he was playing the Emperor Thorazen, but this is not very important. You can wow, just let it be alive. Yeah. Does he? He, he, he opted to choose to draw a card. Yeah, he wants to get more value from the Emperor, just get the Warzone oh, Commander as oh well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because that's really important uh, to, to, to hit the Grim Patrons, but, he don't but also hit the, uh, the Warzone Emperor you mentioned. Yeah. To, to kill on turn 7. Well, turn 7 is not really possible now, but... And he attacked with the weapon as well, just to test the secret. If it's, is it Ice Barrier or is it Ice Block? And now he knows it's now Ice Block. There is Thais. Really thinking of this play. Yeah, what can he do here? Well, he can draw more cards. I'm not sure if you want that. Cone of Gold, very smart actually, because it deals one damage. And um, the warrior has a lot of creatures that benefit from that. Like the armor smith gets one armor for every damage taken. Mm -hmm. The Acolyte gets one card for every damage taken. Oh, okay. So, so you want to use the uh, Cone of Gold as soon as possible. And the Boom Bots. And now the Cone of Gold would have actually been good in this yeah. situation. But well, he used it already. He can use uh, Blizzard still. Or Flame Strike. I think Flame Strike is here to play. I th do you? I think Blizzard is better. And just freeze a 3 to 7 5? 
Yeah. Oh, oh, he, oh, he goes for the Oh, Midas. he's going for the freeze on the 7-7, seven seven, I think. He okay. knows he needs the burst, and he does not have the burst in his hand right now, so he's creating it. He's, he's creating burst. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's see, does uh, Vortex have an answer to this? Okay, Inner Mage. He does not have an execute. He does He does not have an execute. So but the Moonbolt has weapon. to go for, right? Uh, he has a weapon. He has a death bite to hit it, and then hit it with uh, the 2-3, and then with the bomb. But the boombos can deal one, first. one, two, four damage to a random enemy minion. To a random enemy. To the random enemy. Enemy. Actually. So also to the face. So yeah. Let's see what the boombos does. It's not golden, so I don't think it's going to be four. Exactly. I like it's very yeah. average. Like a not golden card. Yeah. <laughs> also very average. Of course, of course. So now, now we can go with death bites and the two three. Yeah. But also go patron. Well, patron's not the best. Yeah, he he w really wants to clear the doors, and you can't let it be a stay alive. And I think it will like Yeah, he clears it with the 2-3 and lets the bomb be alive. And armor's up. I like the play of armoring up here instead of doing something else. Well, there's not really anything else he could have done. Ah, inner rage battle. <laughs> 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 inner rage battle rage just to draw some cards. Okay, a lot of options for Thais again. I don't. Does he have 9 cards, 10 or 10? Uh, he's, I think, 10? Yeah, 10 cards. Okay, so he has 10 cards, so the, the, the draw tool the ar for the Arcane Intellect is. Uh, is uh it's not good enough. The Acolyte's not very good. Flame Strike's not very good. F so maybe just Fireball, Fireball. Just face, face, go. Or just Fireball the 7-7 seven, seven and clear it with ping. Yeah, that seems... But it's still bad. Less like risky. You still uh, use removal on board instead yeah. of to the face. You want to remove the face, not the board. You want to remove face. Yes. If there only was a Hearthstone card that says remove face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Face Hunter. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Of course, of course. So the Acolyte of Pain. We'll draw him extra cards, but he... He's not well sure if he wants... Like, what is he looking for in the extra cards? I don't know, but time runs out on size. Yeah, it, it sure does. Uh, Frost Nova, that's actually a pretty good card. That's a pretty good card. Yeah, and definitely that's play uh, it. Now Vortex is, uh, is in a bit of an uh, awkward spot. If he attacks with the weapon, um, the one two uh, creature will also draw a card for, for, for Thais. Yes, uh, that uh, when it with the time when uh, Tice played the Patron Warrior, he just wants to keep the weapon for the Grim Patron turn. Oh, and for the Grim Patron turn. And now okay. he's looking for the Warsaw Commander, but yeah, he still didn't get it. That seems better. Ooh, a Doomsayer. He just played his uh, Frost Nova, and now he draws Doomsayer. Yeah, that's, that's a bit bad. But he's he draws another card. Okay, now he has nine cards. So if he attacks with the one two in the Boom Bot, then he's, he's got ten cards. He can't draw a card right now. Oh, he c oh he can't he can't draw a card now. Okay. So well uh, he, he can try to, but <laughs> we'll <laughs> see what happens. So he has I to think play Fireball the, the Emperor. Yeah. yeah, that seems the best. But it's or so maybe expensive. the 7-7, seven, seven. that's also... Well, he wants to get rid of the Emperor here. And so easy for Vortex to get lethal at this point. Uh, well, lethal, to pop the ice <laughs> block, as we call it. And you want to pop this as, as last as possible, right? You want yeah, to as, as soon as possible. You mean. Oh, yeah, 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 as soon as possible, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but I mean also... Um, that Tyson is at the lowest life total possible. Okay, another there's card. And here's the Doomsayer to clear the board. Um, oh, he's going to Iceland to face so that there he can't. Uh, oh, he's going to. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, because he really wants to kill the Thorazen. That yeah. makes sense. It, it makes a bit of sense, yeah. He does not have the execute. I think he just armors up. Armors and up and go. Turn. Yeah. I don't like uh, uh, trying to kill the zero 07 here. Well, you, c you can't really. You might even battle rage, Four but you only get one card, so you just cycle yeah. it, and that's not good enough. Well, he he could deal um, acolyte, whirlwind, inner rage, and attack, but it's a bit too much, I guess. And here's the ice barrier, which is a really good draw for uh, Thais, just healing for eight, practically, especially since a warrior will uh, need to do damage straight to the face, not with yeah. spells, so it will be triggered uh, for sure. Loot order is a bit of a bit of a tricky card because. It the patron will gain an extra patron if you have a 2-1. Uh, yeah, board. but it will just be cleared by the weapon. And no, still no uh, Warson Commander. How many cards does he have left in his deck? Uh, let's see. He still has 14 cards. 14 so cards. Okay. Ah, he's just going for it. He's just going for it. Hey, yeah, everyone. Get in here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He gets two more. But the Flame Strike will make uh, okay. Vortex very sad, I think. He will draw a lot of cards. And gain a lot of armor. So I I do like this play. I like it, but I think it's really expensive. But maybe he will finally draw the Warsaw. 
But if he goes Battle Rage... Oh, he, does, he did not Battle Rage. Oh, oh he oh did oh Battle he Rage. Did rage. Oh, of course, so he, he uh, yeah. gets a card for Luthor there. Okay, so he gets five cards now? Yeah, I think five. Oh, four. It was four cards. Oh, yeah, four. Four because cards. Because his face is in the yeah. damage. Oh, and he still Ooh, goes for the, for the weapon attack to trigger it more and get a lot more armor, and then it will be so hard for Taze to break through that. Yeah. But also, Flame Strike will kill all... Yeah, but it doesn't even matter at this point, because he gets like f four, five more armor from the Flame yeah, Strike. Yeah, so Taze usually play, plays like two Fireballs, two Frostballs, two Ice Lances. And he already got two Fireballs, so I don't think he has like 45 damage in his deck. Yeah, as we said, like the, the Arc Mage can create a lot of bursts, but I don't know if it can no. create this <laughs> amount of bursts. Yeah, he needs to do uh, 45 damage at the moment. Well, okay, he needs uh, like four turns for that, I think. I like this play. He, he doesn't want to go for the Flame Strike because it creates six armor. But now he can slam Execute, so... Yep. And he will still... And that's battle rage. exactly the plan he's going to... Uh, slam this Execute. Is what he's going to do. And probably armor up again. Well, maybe play another... Uh, no, yeah, armor up again. I think you want to leave one spot on the board to play something. Uh, yeah, and, and he's already winning. if you have seven creatures on your board, then... That might be too much. The Scientist, yeah, that was a really good card on turn 2. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now it's a bit worthless. We've only missed one uh, secret so far, like the other Ice Barrier, is what we haven't seen. Mm -hmm. How many cards does uh, Vortex have in hand? Nine. I think they want to uh, really yeah, make an effort of this game, out <laughs> this match now. Uh, we see the Warzone Commander finally being in Vortex's hand. Um, so he can go Warzone Commander and into into Patron. He can just combo him now. And then attack for... Let's see what happens. Oh no, also the Frothing Berserker. Also the Frothing. So we're at at 10 uh, mana then. But with the inner <laughs> rates, it's exactly... Uh, and then it's like 5 or 6 and then 3 uh, into <laughs> the 3 Jack in the Box, back into the into 2 and... Well, not lethal, right? Not not lethal yet. So I'm sure Vortex can better count than me, so... Yeah. Vortex just decides to sit back, armor up, hit him, uh, hit him in the face a bit. Doing casual things, being a casual player. So uh, 47, 47 life points for Vortex here. Thais does have the Pyroblast to remove only 10. If, if you count it, oh, he, <laughs> he, he just goes for, for it. Of course, because you have to remove the armor anyway. You've got Alex Raza for the HP, yeah. for the HP, sorry. But uh, you need to remove the armor and might as well py uh, Pyroblast here. I think uh, uh, Vortex can remove the, eye blo the, the block now. Yeah, yeah, he can for sure. He can... Uh, Taskmaster, and then it's 12 attack, and with the weapon, it's 16. Yeah, and if he does it like this, then uh, Ty stays at 3 instead of, like, 15 <laughs> or 11. So the most important part here is that Ty only has uh, one more turn to survive. He has the ice block, and after that he's dead. Yeah. So he has to kill a Vortex in two turns. Uh does he have another secret in his uh, deck? Yeah, he's got the other ice barrier. Okay, so maybe that's enough. It's 11. If we, th if we look at the hand of Vortex, it's not enough. Pretty sure. So yeah. he has to play the Ice Block as well. And, and also it's Fireball. So yeah. Well, Fireballing the, the, the 12 or 5 won't get him the win, I guess. Exactly. This is not play to win, this is play not to lose yet. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think Thais is slowly losing. Well, uh, let's see what he can, uh, he can do. Oh, oh that's a wait. very good draw. Okay, let's see. So we play the Warsong first. Uh, this is obviously the patron turn. Play Warsong, then a Grim Patron. Hey everyone, get in here! And then the armor shift just to get some more armor, innerates the patron, roll with the whole bunch, and get a lot of damage. So. And a lot of armor. I think it's lethal now, right? Well, so it uh, yeah, it pops both the secrets. Yeah, pops both secrets. And uh, I think. Uh, I think it it's gonna be really gonna hard to be for uh, tap out, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, he might just. So Vortex. Was 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 two zero down, and now he's uh, now he's really he's going back. for it. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it'll be s it'll soon be uh, two two, and then we'll see what the last deck is that Vortex brought. Yeah, oh, it's oh, he won with the handlock, right? But it yeah, he won with the handlock first. So, so we don't know the deck yet. No, we don't know the deck of uh, of Vortex yet. Uh, we've seen a uh, quite large diversity of. Oh, decks and there's, uh, the there's yeah, way, way, way too, too late, late. Way too late. Yeah. I Fireball, face. Fireball, yeah. face. Classic. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> okay, so 2-2. Two, two. Well, you're really going to make a show match out of this, right? And, and I like it a lot.
I like uh, we a lot. See, yeah. We see a lot of high level play here, a lot yeah. of counting, which is <laughs> pretty and I haven't seen a mistake of these guys yet, so something I would have done differently. It's just really, really high uh, play. Yeah. High, uh, really high level play. High, high level play. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, it's uh, the hunter okay. versus so this is the freeze mage. This is the final game. Hunter freeze mage. So who is going to be the hunter or the, or the freeze mage? And I'm really curious to what kind of hunter it will be. Yeah, it could be even anything. It can. Uh, we know the, the mage is the mage is a freeze jack. We 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 actually know that. So ah, uh, it's uh, the hybrid hunter, I think. Which what's is a what's hybrid okay. hunter? So you've got two archetypes of hunter. You've got the face hunter, which just goes really face, face, face and kills your mm -hmm. opponent. Uh -huh. And you've got the mid-range hunter, which is more of a control deck. Recently, like in the last two months, there's been a new deck and it's called hybrid hunter, where you have elements of the face hunter, which are in this case the leper gnomes, and you've got elements of the mid-range hunter, which is in this case the Savannah high main in his hand. Yeah. So we this is see uh, By the way, this is like the best start possible for Vortex. I Thais think so as well. Thais doesn't do anything. And Vortex goes the two best one drops, well, not, not in the game, but the two best one drops <laughs> for the Hunter deck. Because Leipzig Gnome always deals two damage. And he's got follow up, like he can play the ma uh, Mad yes. Scientist, maybe you draw an Eagle Horn Bow, but and he has two cards. To even draw. as the Owl for the possible uh, zero 07. Uh, yeah, that's so important to have that all, um, this matchup. Oh, is yeah. Quite, he's quite even. He's, he's, g he's going for that. Thais is not going to be happy. No, Thais is not <laughs> going to be very, very sad right now. Oh, there it is. I see him. Like nodding his head. Yeah, on. yeah, I saw of that course, going. Of, <laughs> of course. course, they always, they have, always it. have it. I'm so unlucky. He, he could also just go with with the, uh, yeah, with that and card and animal perfect companion. follow up. Yeah, just always animal companion is such a good card. And, and it's always hover. Is it always hover? Oh no, no, it's, it's Leok. It's Leok. Leok's still good. Uh, Buffs the other creatures. I think all the op options were, were were perfect here. Okay, so. Cone of Gold is the obvious play right here. Killing both yeah. Lepernos, you take another 4 damage, but it uh, prevents a lot more damage in the future. But it will be pretty hard for Thais, because he needs to Ooh. draw cards, but he needs to remove the minions as well, and you don't have mana to do both. Now, normally I like the, 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 the mage deck in this matchup, but with such a great start for Vortex, it's really hard to know which one is the, the more favorite now. But they're playing really, really fast at this, at this game. Yeah, but like um, Vortex doesn't ha really have a lot of cards in his hand, so his options are very limited. And Thais probably played this matchup a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot. Yeah, but because these these players are like not not full time players, right? They, uh, they are well. Thais is still going to university, but he wants to be a full time player, and he's still doubting. Turn of uh, Vortex actually is a full time player, has been for quite a while. And he's okay, been, he's been playing Yu-Gi-Oh before. Okay, uh, professionally, and uh, his uh, twin brother actually plays as well. Oh, so so his twin brother of Vortex. Uh, uh, we know for sure that Vortex is in yeah, the yeah, seat right I, now. Right? I, I, I didn't see the differences. Oh yeah, now. you didn't see the differences. Okay, <laughs> but okay, it took okay. me a while, and yeah. I still <laughs> uh, when on Teamspeak I can't hear the difference. Oh, you, you can't hear the difference. So is this Vortex or is this his twin yeah. brother? Well, they, they 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 have to get called it a lot. So there's a pirate shredder. Yeah, he just rolls what's it hopes for a doomsayer to clear the board. Okay, and what it is. is it? It's an, an owl. owl. The same Not owl. Not very spectacular. Okay, so already on 10 damage here, or uh, on 10, 10 HP, life. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be HP. really hard. He doesn't really have a l uh, he doesn't have heal in his uh, deck, right? Mm -hmm. He only has ice barrier, ice yeah, ice barrier, and ice block. The barrier is really good, but the block isn't isn't necessarily that that good because if you are on too low, well, an, an a super turn will will not help you uh, help you. So okay, and here we see a second frostbolt being drawn and. Uh, I think Arcan Intellect's the right play. Just draw more cards, see what you can get. Maybe you get another AoE, but most AoEs are more expensive than the amount of mana Thais has left now. So you might just play Ice Block and ping the O, I think. Well, I like Act of Pain here. And then ping it? And then maybe ping it. It's a, it's a bit greedy. M yeah, maybe he's too greedy. But he has to be greedy at some point, because he's not winning with, with, his, with this hand. Uh, not yet. Who <laughs> knows what he will draw next. Uh, we'll see the Savannah High Main coming up, and that's so hard to remove. You have to like freeze it, and we see that Thais has no freeze in his hand. No, this is going to be really tricky for Thais. So he's already on eight, and now Vortex knows that it's uh, the ice block, and he's pretty happy. Oh, it's Alex Raza. That's a really good draw for Thais. Maybe Ooh. he can do something with that. I think he has to Alex Raza here himself. 
No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> his opponent to his actually opponent? have a chance. Because if you draw enough burst in the next turn or in the next two turns, because you have another ice block in your hand, you can actually still win the game, which is the beauty of oh, this deck. Oh, that's a, that's a beauty. Yeah, th actually true. Most of the players like me would have gone for the losing play of going for Alex Rajeng yourself. Okay, yeah. And here Thai sees it as well, of course. So you have to do this. Thais is YOLOing here, right? Yeah, Thais uh, is just going full YOLO. <laughs> and uh, Tony knows there's nothing he can do except for popping the block and uh, kill Alex Traza, which is. Uh, so, these easy. So, so, so these draw sets of Thais are really important. Yeah. Because so the hero he power will always kill Thais in the next turn. Of the, of, the, of the next turn, so. He has to play the ice block and he has to draw cards. And he has to hope that he draws the ice lands next. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Because he needs ice lands, at least. Uh, well, if you you have to tell yeah. us and the frost bolt, so that's four damage. That's four damage. That's five five from Iceland. So if he gets two Icelanders, he has lethal. That's so a pretty small chance. It's a pretty small chance, but Thais just has to go for it. Does Fireball he is pretty good as well. Which draw does he have? It's a uh, uh, fireball. Uh, uh, it's a bit too slow. Still, still a well, chance. Well, still a though. fireball. Still a fireball. So he has a chance next. Okay, turn. so he plays ice block now. And I don't think you play uh, the uh, the skeleton in the dress, right? No, but you might play a fireball. This is this is going to be freeze. Yeah, yeah, it's freezing trap. So he just gets it back in his hand, and it will cost eleven mana, and it oh will 11. never be seen again. <laughs> <laughs> so it costs eleven mana. So you can never actually play it. He can never play it again. He can never play it again. Okay. Oh, he he does play the skeleton, and he goes for the freeze. Uh, I'm not sure if I agree because you really need the frost vault for the ice lands next turn, assuming you will draw it. Yeah, assuming you will draw. Yeah. You have to assume that. Well, here it's a very easy turn. Clear the board. Uh, he might draw the second fireball, which is lethal as well. Well, the yeah, the second that's fireball. So, but I, I think that's the only out for uh, Thais. Oh, he can loot all. He can ping his. No, no, he, he can't ping his own. Uh, no, that costs too many. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, so fireball. I see. Oh, it's that's not good enough. <laughs> if he could play the fourth one in this turn, uh, let's he would have been enough. Four to five is nine to six is fifteen. Yeah, it wouldn't be lethal. So it wouldn't be lethal. Uh, uh, they threw the game last. Uh, so if I didn't play Frostbolt last turn, he would have actually won this, this he game. He would have won this game. And the match and the series. And uh, exactly. So oh. uh, that's such a shame. I don't think Thais is really happy about that. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think Thais is happy about it either. But well, what can he draw? Like there's nothing. Uh, Frostbolt of course, but he, well does, he does not even have enough mana for that. Thais already congratulating each yeah. other and Voltex will win this show and uh, show match. GG. GG. Very well played by both players and I'm very impressed. I think we'll go to uh, Frank for the giveaway now. Take it to Frank. Please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The players are ready. Uh, Hi, everybody. <laughs> ah, yes, it's me. Hi, everybody. Um, I hope you all can hear me. Uh, thank you all very much. Uh, thank you, Thais and, uh, and Vortex, for playing. I really enjoyed the games. Uh, I have played a bit of Hearthstone myself as well, so I was able to follow the matches, and I, th I really enjoyed myself. Uh, so for, for everybody in the audience, uh, so Danny and, uh, and uh, our admin, Martin Jan there, they have a big box.